welcome to Dice Friends. We're going to give you something a little bit different. This is called a memoriam for not a drop to drink. These are small vignettes detailing a moment in one of our kindred's lives. Today, tonight, now, we're going to be focusing on Oliver Tyndall and the evening that he met the sheriff. <laughs> Oliver. Yeah, what's up? It is the evening after your embrace. Okay. Something that happened in a flurry of violence mm -hmm. and fear and blissful ignorance that you can't remember exactly what happened. But you wake up feeling bad. Bad how? Well. Like hangover? First of all, you slept the entire day. Oh, okay. So it's evening. You wake up incredibly hungry. Okay. What does your place look like? Uh, well, I mean, it's in a duplex. Mm-hmm. And, uh... It's got a bunch of sports stuff all over the walls, you know, maybe some jerseys and like framed pictures, you know, signed Maple Leafs jersey. Yeah. 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 Oliver's a big Leafs fan. Maybe one day they'll win the cup, you know, and uh, he lives alone. Uh, he eats most of his meals in front of his television on like a TV tray. Mm -hmm. One of those old ones too, like the like, you know, like wood like this, you know, like the thin, like... Mm -hmm. TV tray wood, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. printed. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. He's got one of those. Uh, no pets. Uh, no one else lives with him. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. What are the neighbors like? You said it was a duplex, right? Yeah. Yeah. What are the neighbors, neighbors like? Neighbors a couple. Uh, they're older, like mm -hmm. 70. Mm -hmm. I think they're called the Henriksons. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Are they? They're, they're friendly. Yeah. They're friendly? Yeah, 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 mm. yeah. They have a couple of dogs. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, yappy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Small. Small. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You, you know the type. I know the type. And yeah. it's out in a squam mall, kind yes. of across the water there. Yeah. Ah, okay. Well, you wake up feeling terrible, just like death. Okay. Very hungry. Okay. Well, I mean, like, if I'm hungry, Oliver is going to go eat. Yeah. Right? So I'll head to the fridge, and uh, I mean, I open it. It's pretty bare bones, right? He lives alone. Doesn't really cook anything that fame or fancy for him. Mm -hmm. Actually, Oliver just opens up like a can of spam. Okay. Yeah, he's gonna like fry it. Just gonna fry it. Yeah. I mean, he like slices it first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He okay. slices it first. All right. Okay. Yeah. Fries up the spam. Okay. Doesn't smell as appetizing as it normally would. No. Mm mm. Mm. No. Okay. I mean, I don't think. I mean, Oliver would just chalk that up to just I just don't feel well, but I need to eat something. Yeah. Right? Yep. So he'll finish it and he'll start eating. Mm -hmm. It doesn't taste as good as it normally does. I mean, it's spam. It's pretty much fat and salt. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you you eat it and you swallow it. Yeah. And just kind of, like, you can feel it just sit there. Mm -hmm. But not in the way that spam normally just sits there. Mm -hmm. and it's not satisfying. And you eat the whole thing and you are as hungry as you normally are. Hmm. Yeah. And I immediately know that this is not a good feeling, right? Like yes. I'm, yeah. Instinctively. Instinctively? Okay. That's weird. And those dogs just won't shut up. Really? Yeah. And that's never bothered me before. It does now. Oh. You can hear them yeah, very but... sharply. Okay. Um... Well, this is weird. Mm. Um, I mean, I'll take some Tylenol. And then, uh, actually, I'd take Gravol. Yeah. Gravol? That's a Canadian thing to do. Yeah, okay. Gravol is a Canadian thing to yeah. do. Yeah. Anti-nausea. Okay. Yeah, anti-nausea. So I would yep. take Gravol. Yeah. And then uh, I guess I'm just chilling and hoping that this whole thing just, like, passes. 
Is it getting worse? You sit in your favorite chair. Yeah. Just click on the TV. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's uh, sports highlights, you know, mm -hmm. like you've got cable. Yeah. Very basic cable, mm -hmm. you know, ESPN. Uh, fortunately, they've let the dogs out into the backyard, but it sounds almost just as loud. It's weird. You can tell where they are and it's they're farther away, but they're they're just about as loud. Yeah, I'll go look at see what they're barking at. They yeah. They're barking at something, right? Yeah. And you go to the duplex of the yard split. Yours is bare and horrible. <laughs> There's a white kind of fence in between that the yeah. dogs can't get through, but sometimes they dig under and, you know, crap in the back of your yard. Yeah. You go out and they're barking, and as soon as you kind of open the door to that screen door that you've got going out the back, you see that they're barking at you. Hmm. Just locked, staring at the back door and barking at you. Hmm. All you want them to do is shut up. It okay. hurts at this point. Yeah. And you're so hungry. Hmm. Well, I guess uh, I would. Hmm. Would Oliver ask his neighbors to shut the dogs up? I don't think he would. Hmm. Normally, like ho Oliver would just be like, "Okay, well, that's weird. They're looking right at me, and they won't shut up, and I'm irritated, but I don't feel well, so it's not the dog's fault, right? Yeah, it's not their fault. It's my fault. Mm -hmm. So I would just close the door and try to ignore them as best I could, mm. you know. Um, I really am not feeling good though, and I don't know how bad this is gonna get. So Oliver's gonna start maybe thinking about going to the hospital. Mm. I don't know. It's it's only been a day. Yeah. Oliver's a pretty tough guy, right? Yeah, it's true. I mean, this feels bad. Yeah, the barking is louder now. Okay, at this point, Oliver would probably get it's just like it's pounding in my head. Yeah, it seems closer. Yeah. Okay, so Oliver gets back up and goes out to the backyard. Uh, as soon as you open the back door, yeah. they've dug under the fence and they're standing on the back porch okay, that's fucking barking weird. into your house. <laughs> yeah. You open the door and they take a couple steps back and like do that little like Pomeranian like... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oliver just goes... <laughs> they immediately shut up. Okay. And they both, they both sit. Yeah. And then get down on all fours and look up at you. Okay. Let's fast forward a couple of days. Yeah. How many dogs did the Hendricksons have after four days? Two. How many dogs did the Hendricksons have after four days? <laughs> One. Zero. <laughs> but you're not quite as hungry anymore. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and at least they've shut up. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. And you feel better. Huh? And the phone rings. Okay. I answer it. Is this uh, Mr. Tyndall? Yes. Yeah. Oh, good. Uh, this is Superintendent Swanson. Okay. Uh, you substituted for Mr. Peters a couple of weeks ago. Do you remember that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Peters isn't likely to return anytime soon and we just had our parent teacher interviews and sandra really talked a lot about you mm -hmm. and we we'd like to offer you uh a full-time job taking our shop i mean <laughs> it... <laughs> I am flattered. Um, my life is currently very complicated. Um, because you tried to go outside. You have been finding yourself falling asleep pretty much as the sun comes up. And yeah. You really pushed it one time and opened your front door. What happened? It's... Uh... It burned a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. It did. You could... It felt like the sun hated you. Yeah. You didn't step into it. Even the indirect light was enough mm -hmm. to 
send you back to bed. Yeah. Uh, Superintendent, um, can I, can I call you back? Uh, uh, sure. I, no pressure. We haven't been able to fill this applicant for a couple of days, so you can take a couple of days to think about it. Okay. This is the first time you've been able to reach him. You've been calling for about two days now during the day. Mm. Yeah. If, uh, if you could get back to us in the next 24 hours, though, that would be really useful. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. I would, I would love the position. I just need to think some things through. All right. Okay. Thank you. Good night. Good night. 24 hours pass. Somebody's expecting a phone call, but you can't go outside. Uh, I mean, I'll call super, I guess. <laughs> Okay, I'll call Superintendent Swanson. Hi, Superintendent. Hello, yes. Uh, I regret to inform you that I cannot take the position at this time. Uh, this, this is Mr. Tyndall? Yes. Oh, that's disappointing. Both um, of us. Hmm. Are you sure? Sure we can, we can sort something out? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. All right. Are you still are you still good for substituting in the future, though? I don't know. All right. Um, I hate to do this, but we are going to put you to the bottom of a recommendations list in the meantime. You've just gotten to the top. Yeah, that's that's fine. All right. Uh, take care. You too. One more restless day passes. You're starting to feel worse again, mm -hmm. like you were about a week ago. And I'm, I would just assume I'm smart enough to figure out the correlation between feeding on the dogs and feeling fine to <laughs> how I feel now. That's up to you. Yeah. Do you? I think I do, but I don't admit it to myself. Hmm. Yeah. Spends a lot of time in front of the mirror doing that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They're sharp. Yeah. They can be retracted. Okay. That's weird. Yeah. Oliver would just try to ride it out. Hope it passes. It does not. And it gets worse. It does. Okay. Well, was um, Oliver a drinking man? I'm sorry. No, not really. Hmm. Do you have any vices? No. No? <laughs> yeah, he's just, yeah, he never really partied, never really drank. I mean, he's had drinks before, but yeah. he's never been a vice person. Yeah. Mm. I guess the closest correlation is because uh, his favorite food is poutine. Mm -hmm. so every once in a while, you just get a craving for that squeaky cheese. Mm -hmm. This is like that. Far, far more intense. Mm -hmm. uh, something inside you is saying, if I don't meet this need, this need will be met. Yeah. And then you think of your neighbors for the barest of moments. Okay. <laughs> We're going to the hospital. <laughs> this is, I don't know, Oliver doesn't like this. No, no, there's something wrong. There's something seriously wrong, and I need to figure out what's wrong. Mm -hmm. So Oliver's, Oliver's going to get on the phone. He only has one friend. It's yeah. Hank Hinkleman. So he's going to call Hank. He's just going to call Hank. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. Hank here. We go. Hey. <laughs> hey, Hank, it's uh, Oliver. Oh, hey, Ollie. Uh, you ready for the next uh, night out? Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know yet. Um, I seem to have come down with some little a bug, or uh, you're not just uh, trying to wimp out, eh? 
Like, no. uh, you need to borrow money again. No, we got, we got no, that. no, we get you no, covered. no, 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 that's, that's not it. That's not it. I'm, I'm just, um, uh, I'm going through something and I don't know what, I think there's something wrong and I need to go to the hospital, but I'm scared that I can't drive myself. So I need some help. And I was wondering maybe if you're not busy, can you give me a ride to the hospital? Oh yeah. I can, uh, swing by there about, uh, 15. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Smart not using the ambulance. Yeah. Waste of money. Yeah, they might steal my wallet. I have heard yeah. that happens. Yeah, see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I refuse. I mean, ever since they put Trudeau in charge, like everything's gone to hell anyway, right? Should have brought back Mulrooney. Yeah, exact, exactly. <laughs> All right, I'll see you in 15. I assume, monsters. <laughs> I assume Hank Hinkleman is driving in from Langford. Yeah. Yeah, that works. All right. Hank Hinkleman arrives in... Closer to half hour? Hmm. Oh, driving what kind of vehicle? Oh, that as well. Yes. It's like a little pickup truck. Little red pickup truck. Kind of like a little sporty... <laughs> Midlife crisis truck. Yeah, 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 yeah. okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, Oliver drives a station wagon, so. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> does not trust himself to drive it right now. No. But yeah, yep. like, Hank just pulls up to the curb, honk, honk, and then, like, reaches over and opens the, the passenger yeah, Oliver, door. like, comes out, like, <laughs> mm. he is not looking good. Yeah, he is, looks a little clammy, sweaty, very ah. sunken-eyed. Yeah. Yeah. Looks... The, he looks kind of pink or so. Damn, Ollie, you get older? <laughs> yeah. Didn't think didn't think the oldest man alive could possibly get older. All right, all right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. I uh, feel old. I feel twice as old as that. Can we just go to the hospital? Yep. Yeah. All right, y'all y'all in? Yeah. And you pull out. And you just kind of hear faintly before you manage to get the uh, the windows up, I assume. Hank drives with the windows down all the time. Oh, yes. All the time. Uh, what kind of music? Uh, classic rock. Trooper. So, as you, <laughs> as you drive off. Not be disparaging, off, Trooper. <laughs> <laughs> as you drive off, just on the wind, uh, you hear the voice of an old woman just going, Pookie? Pookie? Hmm. Meanwhile, Hank's just like, yeah, started coaching, coaching a new Pee Wee squad. Uh, they're, they're trying real hard, but they, they just don't know how to spot the line. Oliver's like listening, but he's like leaned up against the door and he's like, yeah. Also, what kind of name is Porpoises? Like, yeah, you need like a killer whale or an eagle or Kodiak bear. Yeah. You smell something delicious. Seems that Hank has nicked himself shaving recently. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to stop talking for a little bit, Hank, okay? Oh, no. No problem. Uh, did you hear about the, the new Leafs trade? It's really, really affecting my, my teams. <laughs> no, I didn't hear about it. Uh, yeah, he'll probably just go off on that for a while. Okay. The hospital's on site. In sight. You pull up uh, to the uh, to the entrance of, uh, I assume, emergency. Yeah. 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 Mind oh. if I just drop you an emergency? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's that's completely fine. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We're here. <laughs> yeah. And you manage to get out, yeah. and that smell fades, replaced by the antiseptic cleanliness as. Hank, I assume, just drives off. Yeah. Listening to Bad Bottom Girls, like Queen. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, the last thing that you see as Hank drives off is a little sticker in the back of the window that says, I heart sluts. <laughs> oh, and it's got like a Calvin peeing on it. Oh, yeah. Like a Calvin peeing on the Ford symbol. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Camo Calvin. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the you 
walk up and it takes a little bit because the automatic doors don't quite work or open. <laughs> so it takes yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <fucking board and just, laughs> yeah. Oh. And then they open. <laughs> Oliver like stops before he walks in. He's like, God, I'm using my one time. I just, I just want to get better, please. I know that I haven't been the best and I don't know what's wrong. And I'm sorry I ate those dogs. <laughs> Uh, there's one old person in like a <laughs> no. walker, walker yeah. kind of going by like with a cigarette in one hand, like wheeling the IV, yeah. kind of like as soon as he hears that, kind of like <laughs> steers away and like yeah. starts moving a little bit faster. Sorry, I ate the dogs. I just, I'm just so hungry and I don't know what's wrong. The emergency room is... <sighs> Filled with the types of people you would imagine you would find in an emergency room. Hey, Oliver, like, goes up and I guess gets a number or tells them that he's here. So I walk up to the, or well, while I walk up to the desk and I'm just standing there. Oliver doesn't say anything until somebody says something to him. So he's just. Have a seat, please, sir. You know what to look for. Sorry? Uh, have a seat, please, sir. I don't feel good. I know. Can I take your vitals? Yeah. Take his pulse? Temperature? No. I get out the phone. Speak. Mr. Jackson, I think we have a hit. Emerge, yes? Yes, sir. Hmm. Thank you, Janice. You're very welcome, You'll sir. You'll be rewarded for this. Keep Thank you, there. sir. Fifteen. Keep them occupied and away from anybody with an open wound. Of course, sir. Hmm. He hangs up without even a goodbye or how do you do? Hmm. All Can right. I lead you to a private room, sir? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be great. Am I going to be okay? I think you're going to have an excellent outcome. Oh. Nice. Thanks. That's very generous of you. Yeah. Oh, man, I was worried. I thought there was something seriously wrong with me. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. Yeah, so he'll follow you mm -hmm. into the private room and he'll sit Get a down. wheelchair, actually. Mm. Oh, sick. Yeah, hell yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh. Good thing you're as strong as you are. Yeah. Oliver's a big lad. Yeah. And also, I mean, imagine emergency nurse probably has a lot of experience wrangling limpish people. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. And you're a fairly potent nurse. Mm. You also know where the bags are. Right. Yeah. Well, we'll get him one of those. Take him to the room? Yeah. Mm. We're going to put him in the room and just, like, lock the door. Mm -hmm. It is a medical examination room. Mm -hmm. You have been in so many, so many. Yeah. How do you feel right now? Sick. <laughs> yeah. Hella sick. A little bit better, though, because somebody seems to be... Oh, they're nice. Oh, yeah. They told me I was yeah. going to be okay and I'm not so worried anymore. Yeah. Sometimes you just need someone to tell you that everything's going to be all right. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I assume that Kendall will contact me when they're close. Quinn. Quinn. The prince. Yes. Yes. Sheriff. The sheriff. Sheriff. Yes. Doesn't he have a driver, though, named Kendall? He does, yes. He has a driver, but he... Drives himself? Tends to drive himself. Well, then I would have set an alarm for 15 minutes. When he said 15. Excellent. You've never seen him in the same car twice. Oh. Of course. Yeah, that's appropriate. Mm. You've only seen him twice. 
three cars is normal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, do you have any idea what's wrong with me? I have an inkling. Oh, you come back with the bag. Yeah. Uh, why don't you try this? And I, I guess it's a blood bag. Yes. One pint. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess they're kept cold. They are, but these are special ones. They are. No anticoagulants or. Correct. Right. Yeah. They're on. I think it's unfractured. Unfractionated. Fractionated. They're unfractionated. Right. Yes. We're going. Are, you find the bright lights are hurting you? Yeah. Well, we can turn off the lights. Okay. Thanks. Mm-hmm. And uh, without revealing to him what it is, mm-hmm. because it might freak him out, mm-hmm. and that could be dangerous. With the lights down, hand him the bag. Uh huh. So I want you to eat this. You want me to what? It. You have not seen it as a blood bag. Yep. Okay. Yeah. I want me to eat this. Yeah. Try, I want you to drink this. It will be. It's a. It is a uh, nu- nutritive solution. Oh. Okay. Yeah. You can, sure. You can smell it. I can smell it. I know it's blood. Yeah. But this is. Well, I know what this is. Does it smell good? No. 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 No, it doesn't. What are you trying to do? Please remain calm, sir. I am calm. One thing you're never supposed to say in customer service. <laughs> Please calm down, sir. I am absolutely calm. What are you trying to do? I swear, ever since Trudeau got in charge, <laughs> this whole country went to hell. Oh, God. This is unbelievable. Okay. You're still- Oliver's up. And yeah, he's, yeah. He's marching around. He's like, I will not. I am not. That is not me. Please, I'm- sir, just have a seat. The door opens. I'm afraid it is. Who are you? Jackson. My name is Quinn Jackson, and I believe I can clear things up. Will you come with me, sir? Right now? Yes. This man is dressed like a money clip. He's just black suit, blue pinstripes, immaculately put together. Mm -hmm. Black silk shirt opened up. Bald black man, uh, gold earrings, uh, just kind of up and down most of his ears, rings on nearly every finger. I feel like I'm going to have to file taxes to hang out with you. We're not going to hang out. <laughs> We're going to go for a ride, and I'm going to explain a thing or two to you. Now, will you please stop harassing her? Sorry, I'm, I'm under a lot of stress. It's 100% understandable, sir. Thank you. Hand that over, please. Thank you. We're going to need this. And he, like, slips it into a coat pocket? I, it just disappears into mm-hmm. the jacket. But the lines stay crisp. He mm-hmm. looks like an action figure yeah. <laughs> that went into business. <laughs> oh. Black circled sunglasses. Okay. It's night. Yeah. Uh, Come with me, please. I guess I don't have much of a choice, do I? I can't force you. That feels like a lie. Are are you going to kill me? No. No. Are you one of those mafiosos? No. But if you'd like to know what's wrong with you, you'll come with me. Oh. You know? You're a doctor? <laughs> no. Is he a doctor? <laughs> you have to tell no. me if you're a doctor. Are you a cop? No. Cops don't make this much money. True, yeah. Wow. Well, that's a good point. Well, I mean... Speaking of points, you've recently grown two, correct? Mm. Come with me. Mr. Tyndall, was it? 
or Mr. Tyndall. This way, please. Okay. <laughs> Slowly follows Quinn. Tell me. Uh huh. Have you ever ridden in a Dodge Viper? No. Well, tonight's full of firsts, isn't it? And he walks out to the parking lot where a Dodge Viper is parked where the ambulance should go. Mm -hmm. Still running. I don't think you can park there. I don't think I care. And he goes over to the gullwing door and opens it for you. Please. Wow. That is the appropriate reaction. Okay. And he sits down in the car. And then he shuts. The, the he just This big sigh is one of the last things you hear before the car shuts. And he goes and gets in the other side. Closes the door. Well, I'm going to explain to you a thing or two about a thing or two. Okay. Welcome to the night, Oliver Tyndall. You're one of the embraced. You're one of the kindred. Listen closely to me, because I'm going to explain everything to you. And he begins to drive, and Oliver begins to zone out. And that brings our memoriam to a close. Thank you very much for joining us for this very special look into Oliver Tyndall's past life and his first encounter with Sheriff Quinn Jackson. Uh, thank you very much to the rest of the table for picking up some of the NPCs there. Uh, this was lovely. Please look forward to more. See you in a bit. Bye.